problems for Cleveland police continues. Tonight, actions by the CPD once again called into question. The second set of officers used force. The second set of officers handcuffed Tanisha. The second set of officers did not give her medical attention when she was on the ground. The death of a 37-year-old woman who died in police custody after this 911 call. Do you need police ambulance or fire? I was confined to the ambulance is now being investigated as a homicide. And new developments tonight in the case of Tanisha Anderson. She died in November while being restrained by Cleveland police. Her family said she lost consciousness after officers used a takedown move on her. Today, the medical examiner ruled her death a homicide. The Cuyahoga County coroner told us Anderson died from being physically restrained, and that led to complications with her bipolar disorder and heart disease. We have team coverage of today's developments and Tanisha Anderson's death from the Five on Your Side investigators. We begin with Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Ron, you found police may have violated their own policies. Well, that's right, Chris. These are some of very specific policies Cleveland police are required to follow when responding to calls for mental health assistance. And tonight, it's unclear if they complied with any of them. Tanisha Anderson's family called 911 for mental health assistance. We obtained Cleveland police policies for mental health calls like this. Dispatchers shall attempt to dispatch CIT, Crisis Intervention Officers. Cleveland police are refusing to confirm whether that policy was ignored. But we found four separate times a dispatcher is specifically told this is a mental illness call for help. This is Jules here. She's missing again. We just had the police out here. They gave me a CAD number to give her to call back. I, and what, is, what are they responding back for? I'm not understanding. She did it to me, you know, she took off. She, she was not listening. She still can bad She walked off. Police policy also requires, before transporting a person experiencing a psychiatric emergency, mental health services should be contacted. Police will not confirm whether that policy was followed. At one point, the dispatcher is even given more clarification. And when you say combative, what, what do you mean by combative? What is it that she's doing? She's with me, you know. I, I get that part, but when you say combative, when you say combative, what do you mean by that? Not listening, not, you know, not staying in the house like she's supposed to. Okay. Finally, the dispatcher is even given Tanisha's specific diagnosis. So she's being unruly? Yeah. What type of mental illness does she suffer from? I'm Okay, is she taking her medication? Yes. Okay. Yes. Not worth And seven weeks after Tanisha Anderson died while in police custody, Cleveland police have finally identified the officers involved. Officer Scott Aldridge is a seven year veteran. Officer Brian Myers is a rookie, hired just last March. Both remained on street duty until December 17th, a full month after Tanisha died. They are now on restricted duty. The dispatcher, we're told, is not being investigated for her role. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.